Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Thank you so much for watching today. Okay, energy vampires. Today, I'm going to talk about three different things, okay? First one is, what are they? What are energy vampires? Two is how they deal with it. How they do it. What is it that they do and how do they do it? And number three is what most important, what we must do to protect ourselves against it, okay? I'm going to talk about symptomology. I'm going to talk about like symptoms that we have when we're getting attacked. I'm going to be talking about the way that they feel, okay? So let's start. Number one, what is a vampire? Well, if you look at the movies, especially that nice movie with Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt, um, who else was in it? Christian Slater, Interview with the Vampire. We all know vampires suck us dry of our blood, yes? But an energy vampire is someone or something who sucks energy out of us, okay? We all have energy. We're all 100% full and that will never, ever change, okay? So they suck us dry of our energy, leaving us depleted, okay? So let's go there. How do they do it? First of all, we've got to understand, what are they? It could be a person. It could be an organization or a, like a government or a business. And it could also be an animal that could do this to us okay so don't just assume it's a nasty ex-partner okay because it could be anything or anyone and then also if you believe in aliens we do have the aliens to consider here what races of those that are here at the moment and what are they doing to drain us dry of all our energy okay so that's the who are they it could be anyone or anything, okay? Number two, how do they do it? There's two ways they do it. One, intentionally. Two, where they don't know they're even doing it, okay? So let's start with the ones who don't even know that they're doing it because that's the easy one, right? So what they do without even knowing it is that they draw or attract in to themselves energies from other things. It could be plants, animals, persons, even organizations, okay? The more we think of, think of a large organization. I'm not going to give us any hints here, okay? But you think of a large organization that has about 50,000 employees. There's hundreds of those. Get one of those in your head and then think, if you wanted to take their energy, so you're bringing that into your own. Now, I'm not teaching anyone here how to do this, okay? Because I will never teach someone how to be a vampire. But I'm explaining how they do it, okay? Subconsciously or without intention of actually doing it, okay? So you go into a party. Let's say you go to a party and there's just one person who you feel attracted to. So you go over and you start talking to them. Hi, my name's Linda, type stuff. And then all of a sudden you're starting to feel tired. You're starting to feel depleted. You feel like you've got to go and sit down or you may even feel dehydrated so you've got to go and drink something. Okay, you might feel hungry. You get dry mouth. Some people, their eyes start watering when they get energy drained. Some people, their eyes get really um, red because they're just so dried out. Other people get ringing in the ears when this happens, okay? Some people get heart palpitations like anxiety coming in. Other people get pains all over them. Um, aches and pains, not like cramps, but more like, you know, flu symptomology? They get like a flu symptomology occurring. So this is the sort of symptomology that can, um, can happen to us when we're getting drained, okay? So we've got the ones who do it without even knowing so it's good in that instance if somebody did say hey are you aware that you're doing this okay because they may not want it and they may not know that they're even doing it but then we've got the ones who do do it and they do know that they're doing it and they'll keep doing it because 
whatever reason they have, they have to do it. These ones are the nasties out there, whether they're human organization, government, build, um, businesses, etc., or if it's off-worlders, um, alien species that are doing this, okay? So what do they do deliberately? They concentrate on us. You know, this is sort of like remote viewing, guys, okay? So when you remote view, you actually move in your consciousness forward to another location, okay? So what happens in this instance is that they go out and then they bring back all that energy from someone else. Not good, because the first thing is there's no consent, there's no permission, and most of all, it goes against the free will of the other person who's getting sucked dry, okay? So this is where it gets very, very important, guys, because most energy vampires, they do it, without the consent or the right or permission of the other person. I went to this party oh, about 10 odd years ago and I was there with a friend and we were going out for an alien night and um, to you know, connect with aliens out in the bush and we went up into this house to have some um, refreshments and drinks before we went out and we we're all sitting there at a table. There was about two, six, seven, eight, ten of us. And the lady whose house it was, she was very, very strong willed. And when we all sat down, she was looking at every single person, like intently looking at every single person around this table. And then within about five minutes, we all got extremely tired. There were people that went to sleep. You know, how does this work? You turn up at someone's house, you've never been to their house, you don't know the person. You sit down at their dining room table and you go to sleep. That's how draining this woman was, okay? So the next day I rang my friend after this. Yeah, you know, we'd been out on the UFO night. We went home. I rang my friend the next day and I said, Honey, what time did we leave? What time did we get there? Because I remember only being at that lady's house for about half an hour. And she said, Linda, we actually got out there at 2 o'clock in the morning and we got to her house at 8 p.m. So it was six hours. What happened in that six hours? Because none of us that were there, that all knew each other, none of us knew, A, it was six hours, and two, how did we feel after that? Now, I could have slept for a week after that, I even said it to my friend, I could go back to bed now, I'm so tired. She said, I know, I'm so drained. And we know the woman who was doing it to us. Her boyfriend was there, and I swear, when he when we first arrived, he was like a walking zombie. He was just... Because she drains him as well. Wonder if she's one of these nasty reptiles. It could be, you know, it very well could be. But that's what happened. We lost six, well, seven hours. Say seven, but it was really like seven and a half hours. Because I only remember being there for about half an hour and it was six hours. So then we went out at 2 a.m. and started looking for alien ships in the sky. Weird night that was, guys. Okay. But it's proof that these energy vampires, they can actually suck a group of people for all their energy as well okay so how do we deal with these type of people i've touched on some of the symptomology today okay you know I'll, I'll just repeat some you get very tired then you might even get the shakes your anxiety level comes up and you're thinking my god why is my heart beating so fast okay some people get the shakes some people get really cold when they get sucked of their energy okay other people start wobbling and they're off balance and you think whoa am I having a stroke no it's just that you've lost your energy okay so how pardon me how do we deal with this this is where we've got to start at the beginning what we should have done that night even before we went into her house was to put up our protection okay so I'm going to talk about protection 
Secondly, after we left, we should have put up our protections again. Okay? And thirdly, we should have done something to regenerate our own energy. So let's go through the three of these. So this is part three. How do we deal with energy vampires? Number one, before you go anywhere. Now, even when I go up to my local shops with all those other people inside the shopping centers, you don't know who's an energy drainer in there, right? Okay. They're like their own little generators and they just suck in everybody else's to keep them alive. Okay, so the first thing I do whenever I go to my local shops, even before I get out of my car, I imagine myself in a big white egg and I put Captain America's shield, you know Captain America from um, MCU, Marvel movies. Captain America, I imagine that I've got his shield, but it goes all the way around me because in the movie, his shield is made of vibranium, which means nothing can get through it. It repels off, okay? So even though it's not a real <laughs> metal, I imagine that I've got this around me, okay? The other thing that I do is I imagine that I'm concrete walls around me. So that protects me. Other people pretend that it's pure white loving light, like an egg. Other people use... Um, What's her name? Diana Prince, Wonder Woman. They use her buckles that she uses as her bracelets. So when she does that, it energizes all this energy out. Okay? So we've got to think of something that we trust will work. That's the big thing here. Even though we can't see what's around us, we trust that it is working. That's the main thing here, guys. Okay? So I trust that this vibranium shell that I encase myself in will work. And then I say my little words, I give no right, no permission to any person or being or entity inside that shop to attach to my mind, body, soul, spirit or energy field. I cover all five all the time, right? So before I even go into the shop, I put myself in this huge white egg that is protected by my Captain America shield made of vibranium. And then I walk into that shop thinking, you're not allowed to come on me. You're not allowed on me. All this energy must not enter into my space. I give no right, no permission. I give no consent for any other's energy to invade or steal my own. Okay? You have no right to attach to my energy. Okay? So then as I go through the shops and I'm, this also works for sickness, by the way, okay, you can say, I am not going to get sick today. Anyone who's sick, your energy must not come near me. You have no right, no permission to attach to my mind, body, soul, spirit or energy field, okay? So then as I come out of the shop and I get back into my car, I say it again. I always do my protections twice. One when I leave to go into somewhere and when I come out. So the first thing I say, any energy associated to any person, entity or other being, you have no right or permission to be on me now. You must return from where you are from. Go back to where you are from. You have no right or permission to come home with me. You have no right or permission to stay in my car. Nick off my car. I give you no consent to be here. Nick off. Go back to where you're from. You have no right to travel with me home. You have no right or permission to stay on me or my daughter or my cat or whatever other people in my vicinity that I want and love. Okay? So we put up our protections before we go and we also put up our protections whenever we leave. So let's say tomorrow night I'm going out to investigate a haunted cemetery. Before I even get there and I get out of the car, while I'm sitting in my car, I do my big protections I am at this place tonight. If whoever is here, any energies, entities or other beings, you have no right or permission to attach to my, here we go again, mind, body, soul, spirit or energy field. You have no right to attach to my mind, body, soul, spirit or energy field. You have no right to affect me. You have no right to inflict me with any of your energy. Okay? You have no right to take any of my energy unless I give you permission first, okay? Then as I leave the cemetery and I'm about to depart the building, 
I sit in the car again and I say, anyone that was from here, any entity, any energy, any being, you have no right permission to stay with me. You must now leave and stay where you are. You cannot follow me home. You have no right or permission. And I do this all within my egg with my Captain America shield, keeping me safe on the inside. Okay? That's how I do it. Okay? How do we deal with psychic vampires? The next thing is we've got to stay attuned to our own body. Okay? Because these little suckers can also come in like remote viewers from the other side of the country or the other side of the planet. So we're not even in their vicinity. Okay? I'm pretty sure I'm getting drained right now from a certain company. So... How do we deal with this? I put up my protections and I use my Wonder Woman, she, um, her little bracelets. And I power up and I go, you have no right or permission to stay on me. Nick off right now. I will not allow my body to be affected by what you want me to do. Nick off with a capital F right now. Go back to where you are from. You have no right or permission to stay on me. Okay? So... How do we deal with them? We stay in line with our own emotions. Check your emotions regularly. How do you feel? Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you excited? Or are you feeling uh, nonchalant? Do you feel like you could go out today, walk a marathon? Or, oh my God, I just want to stay on the chair and watch feel good movies all day and eat chocolate and ice cream. So check your emotions. And then you say to yourself, is this normal? Is this because of some other external action that's occurred where I am now reacting? Or is this just out of the blue? Oh, I'd better just exaggerate on that a little bit, okay? Elaborate, I should say. Okay, let's just say you've got a friend, you're worried about them. They're going through some hard times, so of course you're going to be upset, okay? Or you may have heard that your favourite pet just died. And I hope that's not the case. But how would you feel? You'd be sad. You'd be grief-ridden. You'd certainly be in front of the TV watching good good movies and eating chocolate in that case, wouldn't you? So check your emotions and see if it's some from other outside sources. Okay? Okay? Oh, gee, that just made me cry just then. Oh, my gosh. I'm such an empath. <laughs> some days it's a shocker. Okay? So then we've got to say, is this from something else? Or is this just out of the blue situation? Why am I feeling like black? Why am I feeling happy? Why am I feeling so, oh, got to go, got to go, got to go? Okay. Is this normal behavior for you? And if you are feeling like what I said before, all that symptomology, where you've got the shakes or your heart's pulsing or your blood pressure's going up or you're feeling dizzy, okay, you got might even have a migraine headache. Okay, there's all these symptomologies like flu fog. Let's go there, flu fog. Okay, and you think, is this normal behavior for me? And if the answer is no, chances are you're getting zapped. Yeah, this is the big one. You're getting zapped from somewhere else, someone else. So how do we stop it? Imagine that you're wearing... Um, Diana Prince's bracelets you bang them together and you force it out and you say you have no right or permission to stay on me you cannot suck the life out of me today I give you no right so nick off to where you're back from go back to where you're from I am Linda I stand in my ground I give no permission no right no consent at all for you to come to me and suck me dry okay we must stand firm guys okay and i can't tell this tell you enough because we are now really in the cruts of what's going on if you want further information about what's going on email me my link is below okay because there's a lot going on on the outside of what they're telling us okay lies and deceit is coming out okay so they're scared they're running scared so all the people that are standing up fighting they've got to attack them somehow and they know that we're all energy workers so they're out there stealing our own to make them stronger but ultimately you know what energy it never depletes as i said at the beginning 
Energy never depletes. Our cup is always full. They can take out as much as they want, but they just remember they're only getting all their good stuff, right? Which they hate anyway. So at the end of the day, the more happy we are, the more we raise our vibration, the more we stay true to who we truly are, and we stop things, all that negative behaviors like don't gossip about other people. Don't judge or accuse what other people do. Leave them alone and just allow them to be who they are. Okay? Don't talk about other people badly. Always compliment. Okay? The next thing I love doing myself, always be positive. Even bad things, say, oh my gosh, I am so grateful that happened. Okay? It's an opportunity for growth. Okay, even if you hear something sad that's happened, you think, wow, that just shows me that I'm such a caring person because now I'm so upset. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. I thought that I was a real hardcore, cold hearted bee. <laughs> okay, so think of it that way. Okay, you know what the B stood for, right? Which with a capital B. Okay, anyway, so how do we deal with them? We let them know 100% they are not welcome in our energy fields. Okay, I hope this one's helped you today. If you did learn something today, because this is development, a lot of people don't know there's even vampires out there. I've got a chip jar below if you want to throw a couple of bucks in there. I'm actually saving up for a new computer system. Okay, so let's see how that goes. Love your work. Stay strong, guys. Keep your vibrations high, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.